In this video, I'm going to introduce you on how to start working with the basics of terrains in Unity. The first thing you're going to do is you are going to need to generate a terrain area in your game environment. This can be located under Game Objects, and if you go to 3D Objects, you will want to select Terrain. Now, when working with terrain, the first thing you should notice is that they're extremely large. Now, as you have the terrain selected here, another thing I would like to talk about is the inspector panel for your terrain environment. The first thing to point out is when you're navigating and working with the terrain, you have a sub area as far as under transform here that is called terrain. And you should see several small buttons here. In another video, I'll get into some of these other buttons here as far as painting. But the first button you will want to take a look at, it looks like a little cog and it, whenever you hover over it, it says terrain settings. Under the terrain settings, you have a lot of different elements as far as not only for the basic terrain, but also when you start adding details, such as as far as the density, but also too, if you decide to add grass or anything like that, you do have control over that as far as your terrain goes. The one thing though for this demonstration that I encourage folks to do, especially when you're just learning or you know trying out terrains, is notice as far as your terrain width and length. By default, it's at 1,000. I'm gonna go ahead for control's sake and I'm gonna shave this down to 500 by 500 making this just a little bit more manageable as far as the overall size. As you can see though, it's still pretty massive, so I'll have a lot of area to work with here. Now the next thing that I would like to show you is number one, the very first button here, which is create neighbor terrains. If you need to, as you're building your terrain, you can actually click on this and add additional areas that will link onto your current terrain. You can see that when I bring the cursor into the scene area, you get kind of a yellow outline here. This is helpful as far as if you're building a terrain or realize halfway through that you need a much larger environment. However, it might not be needed for all situations. Now next to it though, is probably one of the core tools that you'll be working with with your terrains, and that's paint terrain. Now to begin here, when you click on Paint Terrain, it's going to bring you into a main environment here, but right below it, you're going to see it's going to say some sort of term here. And what actually happens is if you click here, it's actually a bunch of subset options that you can work with on your terrain. So for this demo, I wanna work with Razor Lower Terrain. The Razor Lower Terrain is going to rely on a brush that you select or if you want to, you could actually create your own brushes and you can change the brush size and opacity. So if I go ahead here and change as far as the brush size here, you can see how it's kind of overtaking my overall area here. So let's go ahead here and maybe make it 100. There we go. And whenever you bring the brush into the scene environment here, what you should notice first is it actually kind of gives you a little bit of a hint as to how much it's going to affect the terrain. Opacity in this situation determines almost hardness. Like as you can see here, if I take it to 100, you see I have a much more defined area under the brush there, versus if I take it down to maybe like nine, you see it's much more subtle there. As you're working with the terrain, you're probably going to be using a combination as far as brush size and opacity. When you're ready to begin working, you have several ways that you can work on the terrain as far as setting the height. You can either do light clicks, single clicks, and kind of, you know, build things up here, or you can click and drag, and what it'll actually do is it'll make your entire area for you here. So if you want to kind of almost do mountainous areas, that's a way that you can do it. Now, if you decide that, you know what, I don't want this, you can hold the shift key and then you can begin kind of clicking down as far as your overall design and changing the overall layout there so that you could actually make it flat again. 
So there you can see I've changed my layout a little bit. And then this is just kind of the basics. You would go through and you would work with this as far as the overall layout goes. Another thing that you can do with terrains here though, if you choose, is if you go back and click on raise or lower terrain, there is an option to paint holes in the terrain. So for instance here, if I maybe do 19, but then change it so that the hole is intact here, or maybe I take this down a little bit further, maybe to a 10. You see here, I can actually come on the side here and it'll actually cut a hole in the terrain. So if you wanted to have, maybe you modeled something in Maya or Blender, where you want it to be able to go in and now they can go underground, you have a starting point that your user could actually walk through. Just like its counterpart as far as razor lowering the terrain, if I decide I don't want this, I can hold in the shift key and block back in that terrain area. And that's the basics of getting started with terrains in Unity.